Hi, maths teachers. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change x-axis labels for angles in GeoGebra and Desmos. You see it's 90 degree and 180 degrees to 70 degrees. And you can also rewrite in terms of pi. So that's what I'm going to explain in a few minutes. You can see here, you have 180 degree, 270, 360, etc. And you can check any graph uh, in terms of degrees and also in radians. So let's see how it is. Actually, I'm on geochapter.org. And if you go to app downloads, I'm using class 66. So click on start. So basically you are want to change the values on x axis so you please check near these three bars there is settings option here click on the settings click on this always the triangle and the square where you will see the basic x axis y axis etc so first of all i'm going to change to negative 360 and positive 360 Y axis, it's okay. Negative six to six, that's fine. You have to change this. So X axis versus Y axis. I'm gonna take 90 is the one. And then you go to X, you can also change here. So X is bold. And you can also change the color. Okay, label style also bold. So you can go to X axis now. And here you will see the labels and distance. Click on distance and enter the number. For example, if it is in degrees, you can enter 90. Okay, see, it will be in the gap of 90. If you type 45, it will be in the 45. So 90 is okay. And then you can also choose the units. So when you click on units, it's in degrees. So you can also convert in pi, centimeter, meter, etc. I'm gonna use degrees. So it's done, y-axis, you don't need to do anything. Go to grid, you can also choose major or minor axis. So you can just use major and minor grid lines. You can also change distance here. X-axis 90 is to one. So this will change everything for us. So you cross, now you see the values so you can use the zoom in and zoom out button just to see the better values. Now, when you type any question in degrees, you because by default, it's always in the radians. So always remember pi times x over 180. So that would be the graph in degrees. Look, you can also try with cosine. So I'm gonna use pi pi times x over 180. Look, and if you click on these three dots, you can also see some special points. So that's the bonus. Now we can also do in degrees. Let me show you. I'm back. Okay, just a moment. Let me show you again what I did. So I was in settings. Go to x axis distance must be 90 unit should be degrees for radians we're going to change the unit into pi and in basics we just change the values from minima to maxima the scale is important 90 is to 1 okay in the grid also it's 90 is to 1 so i'm going to go back to geogebra and classic 6 so here Let's see, we have a graph of sine x because by default it's in uh, radians. Now you're gonna, you want to see in terms of pi. So click here in the triangle and circle settings and you can change these values, no problem. But the main thing is here, you can change the distance. I think distance is fine here distance here click on distance on x-axis click on distance and enter the that value or you can choose it's already there pi or pi over 2 
okay and units you can choose if you want otherwise you don't need to do anything in this so i think in terms of radians it's pretty much easy you just need to go to x axis and change the distance so change the distance into 1 or change the distance into pi or pi over 2 so i hope that would definitely help you if you were looking for this it's easy yeah now we can also try with the desmos if you want in desmos it's also easy i'm actually clicking on desmos graphing calculator and in graphing calculator we can have same it's a sin x so it's already in radians but you can always go to settings. You can also change this reverse contrast, no problem. Otherwise, please go on X axis and change this radians or degrees. Look, degrees, if you change into degrees, you have to change the scale, negative 360 to positive 360 or whatever you want. And you can also enter steps here. Let's say steps 90. Okay, you remember the graph is not actually in uh, radians now, it's already in degrees. So yeah, you can check, you can use the zoom in, zoom out button, just to see, yeah, one more thing you can also do here in steps, you can change in 45, look. And Y axis values, you can use minus two to two or positive two, so, as you like yes so it's always better to see the graph and if you type cosine x look it's already there so for degrees and radians you can change here labels also you can make it label here angle so it's like that angle 45 don't put uh, because it won't consider degrees or zero so it will just take it to another value so don't use the power degree here yeah and in degrees sorry in radians you can just switch radians and change your values so please try and let me know if you have any question thank you